Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to install Reaper on Linux again and kind of update this video just so we're clear on how this works, okay? And it's not a hard install at all. Even if you're pretty new to Linux, I figured it out and I had really no clue how to really do this when I did it the first time. It was just a couple you know uh try it see if this works kind of things and i got it so it's pretty simple basically if you're running a 64-bit os and a 64-bit cpu get the green button download here that says linux x86 64. now if you're running a 32-bit machine i'm gonna be honest with you it's probably time to get a new machine but if you've just got an old machine you want to use to record with you know and not try to make it some giant mixing monster machine go for the linux i686 now if you're on a pinebook pro or a raspberry pi something of that nature look at the linux arch 64 but most people if you've got an intel or amd processor that was made in the last 15 years you'll want linux x86 64 just click on that it'll automatically download and it will be in your downloads folder and it will look like this now I'm on budgie and I'm using Solus Linux so I know a lot of people really like Solus because of its simplicity so we're gonna install Reaper on Solus so the first thing you want to do is open your file manager right click on it and click extract here normally just takes a second and you're done and it will give you this little folder it says reaper 643 i think that is the version number of x8664 double click that double click again now there's three files here a folder a readme which we will open and basically it gives you the installation instructions okay you'd like to how to install reaper to your system things of that nature it's good to read through this even if you don't understand it because later on you will understand what it means once you've learned more about linux okay now your here are the requirements that you will need most of these things will be installed already anyway such as also and uh, libc6 the optional dependencies will be Jack, Pulse Audio, the lame encoder for MP3 encoding, FFmpeg. To check and see if you have FFmpeg, just type FFmpeg into the terminal. And if you see something that says FFmpeg version, FFmpeg is installed on your system. If you're running Solus, it's installed by default, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a fresh terminal window okay and I'm gonna set it right beside of my file manager I'm gonna grab this install Reaper sh file and I'm gonna drop it on Tilex is the terminal I'm using okay and then I'm gonna hit enter now it's gonna ask if you've extracted Reaper into the path you would like it to live home Joe downloads you can set up desktop integration okay so I, if you use the I, it will install Reaper and you will be prompted with the various options. Okay. Path to install. One will install to backslash opt backslash, backslash Reaper. Two will install to home backslash user backslash opt backslash reaper i usually go for two that way it's in my home folder would you like desktop integration type y proceed with the installation y for yes and it's done okay if we scroll down through here reaper has been installed on our machine it's that quick and now you can just close the terminal and Reaper is installed, which is great. 
Okay. We can go also input device. I'm using the XR 18 from Behringer here. Actually, I'm using the X 18, the tabletop version, and you can set it up however you want. I'm going to cancel this, but as you can see, Reaper is here and, uh, it works just like any other version of Reaper. Pretty cool, huh? All right, that's all you have to do, guys and gals. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. We do all kinds of Linux, Mac OS kind of stuff here with Pro Audio and all sorts of other things. So if that kind of tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And since you're already here on YouTube, check out one of these videos on your screen now. All right, guys and gals, we'll check you next time. Have a great day, y'all.